Hey everybody, what's up? What's up y'all? Happy Sunday everybody. It's beautiful weather outside. Um, I've already went food shopping, got everything for the boys, um, got myself everything I need for lunch, got all my coffee. Um, I didn't have any coffee this morning, but I did eat breakfast already. So look, let's jump right into these reactions, guys. Do me a favor, guys. Do your girl a favor. Hit the thumbs up on your way in, all right? And we're going to get started. Okay, guys, we are going to get started with My Jazzy Life, and we're going to start with reacting to going to the gym every day to find a new man, okay? Let's take a look, guys. That's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's weak. That's why I take my time before I make my mind. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes so I don't have to work no nine five. Yeah, we be taking everything for granted, no lie. Cause I remember days that we could barely get by. Used to use the neck. Well, you guys, I am almost out of the 240s. Um, your girls lost a little bit more weight. Um, I'm not going to lie, I do feel bloated today. I, it's always that week before I start my cycle. I feel bloated. I'm emotional. I'm crying for little things. And I'm now starting to recognize that pattern because it's the crying. Like, I just start crying for nothing. It, it'd be the smallest thing that trigger me, and I just, I just start crying. But right now, I'm getting legend something to eat, and I think I'm going to go get myself a smoothie um, after. Are you dancing? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Huh? Hold on. Wait a mommy. Okay, you guys know already that um I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily that Jazz has incorporated going to the gym in her content, but Jazz just doesn't understand when enough is enough. We're not saying don't show you going to the gym. We're not saying not to show it. We're just saying that you don't have to show it in every single video the exact same way every time. You don't have to tell us every single workout you did and how long you stayed on the treadmill and that you went in the sauna. You can kind of just do like a little two minute speed it up type of content with some music playing over or a voiceover saying, hey, this was me doing this many reps of this. I did this. I did this. I concentrated on uh, today was arm day. Today was leg day. Almost, Jazz, I know you watch Kiara. Do it like how Kiara does it, because she doesn't make it annoying. I don't know if you guys, I watch Life of Kiara here and there. I don't watch her all the time, but I do peek in and see what she's doing. Um, And yeah, she just puts her gym content in there sometimes. We don't need it in every video, Jasmine. All right, but I know you like to, anytime anybody tells you anything, you like to do a pushback on it. So I guess you... You know, you think that's battling you when somebody tells you not to place the same exact content every time. That's like advice. Learn how to take constructive criticism, Jasmine. Anyway, I noticed that she's spending money on smoothies now. Because guess what, guys? The Davis Ford aren't there. So you know Legend gets whatever he wants. Whatever Jasmine gets, Legend's going to get. All right? She treats King Legend. She puts him on his throne. And they go about their business every day while the Davis Ford drink water every day uh -huh. um and also jasmine i know you think that getting food is content because Liv did it it's not content sis let's let me repeat getting food is not content it can be a part of your content i know see it's hard for a slow person to distinguish something when you say when peach says everything is content peach has enough sense to know 
what she's talking about. But when you're slow or you're limited, you know, your brain doesn't function. You don't have 100% comprehension. Your ability to comprehend is very low level. They think it's literal. They take stuff literal like a child would. That's that's how you know it's something wrong. Everything is not content. You going in to get a smoothie is not content, Jasmine. I know you don't understand what I'm talking about, but maybe you... Well, you don't have anyone intelligent around you. Just forget it. We'll continue on, guys. It's mommy smoothie, okay? Mm. Are you dancing? Uh, mommy. Thank you. Dancing. You too. Thank you. Come on, Legend. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that, but whatever. So I got the Gladiator protein smoothie um, with banana. I think that's what it was. It is their most popular. I never went to Smoothie King, so got that. It is some flavored chocolate. And it has peanut butter in it. That's bomb. That's bomb, okay? So got that, and that's what I'm going to have for my break in my fast. It's 12. It's 12.52, so about to have my smoothie, and then I'm going to, yeah, that's it. All right, so I'm back at the house. I took my shower, changed clothes. It's almost time for me to go with the kids. Um, I'm picking them up. What's going to my face? It's like a piece of hair or something. I'm picking them up from the bus. I mean, not bus. I'm picking them up from school today because uh, they're going back with their dad. But I wanted to come and talk to you guys about a few things. A lot of you guys seem to just know how to talk. First of all, me going to the gym. Some people think that I go to the gym. Okay, Jasmine. Jasmine. I don't want to click out of this video because I've chosen to react on this video. Please make him be quiet when you're doing videos. Get something in the background that is going to occupy his attention. This is you and Allison Alana, and I am sick of it. I'm sick of every single time I click on your video. Legend is yelling and screaming like a psych ward patient in the background. That's not what I came here for, sis. That's not what anybody on the platform came here for see they're gonna be in your car oh he's so cute no it's nothing cute about it get something that you know keeps his attention when you're doing videos why is this so hard this is annoying i don't want to hear him trotting around and screaming and yelling to the top of his lungs in the background while you're trying to talk to your audience once again you're behaving like a slow person. I a man. That goes to show how much you know me. My real supporters know me, okay? I do not go to the gym to find a man. I don't look for a man. I don't care how I look sometimes. Sometimes I may look presentable. Sometimes I'll be so tired that I may look like who did it and why. I go to the gym because it helps with my anxiety. It helps with my mind that's racing. Jasmine, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. You're the one always going around talking about, I'm a content creator. When you're a content creator, guys, I'm a content creator. The life of a... You keep talking about it, but bitch, when you're going to be about it. A part of being a content creator is putting more into your looks, more into your atmosphere, so you can do what? Influence. You're missing the key parts. We get it. You want to give us the real and raw content. But what we also want to see is a mother taking care of her kids who at least presents, even if she does not. See, this is the part that you're not picking up from Strong Mommy Chrissy. You want to copy Kiara. You want to copy Strong Mommy Chrissy. But you're not picking up any of the good parts that they're presenting. You're not getting it. You don't get it. We don't want to see the struggle life all the time. For the most part, we want to see positive content mixed in with some human struggles. But I know we've been explaining this to you for years and you still don't get it. So you're not going to get it. But I'm saying it anyway. Okay, guys, I'm saying it anyway. I'm wasting my my energy. Okay, let me let's keep going. 
and 24 7 and also it's just right now it's just a fitness lifestyle this is something that i am doing and i'm incorporating in my everyday lifestyle i like going to the gym i really enjoy it if i wanted to go to a gym for a man then i would be having my hair down i would have a whole bunch of face full of makeup on maybe i do i don't sometimes i put concealer on if i feel like it's just really really bad but i don't do that like i really don't like if i feel like my face is really bad i'll put a little concealer on like but these things i got that spot one spot treatment and it's been helping a lot but um just side note that my face is clearing up a lot and the acne patches help a lot as well and i'm yeah, side note no your face is not clearing up your face you have meth face right now I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to be insulting. I'm sorry to be harsh, but that is my delivery, y'all. I don't do beat around the bush delivery. Y'all already know that. You have meth face, okay? It's giving, I live down on the boulevard, okay? It's giving streetwalker. Do something about it. I hope you went to the dermatologist. I'll talk about what I uh, spoke to when I went to my appointment and I told them about the 12 and, you know, what I've read online about breaking out. But no, that's what I was saying. I do not go to the gym to look for no man. I don't. If I wanted to look for a man, I can get on a dating app or something. I can go to a club if I really wanted to. But I'm not out here just looking for a man at a gym. All right. Let's not tell lies. Let's not. Now, now we're getting into. All right, Jasmine. Jasmine. Sis, you're telling lies now. You cannot go to the club if you wanted to. And I'm going to tell you the reason why you cannot go to the club. Let's be clear. If Unless you're going to leave Legend in there by himself, who do you have that will babysit for you to go to a club? Mama Dukes ain't interested in babysitting, okay? We know Hips is not going to watch Legend overnight, all right? Because he won't even come get him during the day. So we know he's not. In, Hips is, is, is MIA. Daddy gone, okay? So who is going to watch Legend while you go out clubbing? Please tell me the list of people that you have available to watch Legend. That's what I'm saying. Now you're just now you're just making shit up. I do it because this is just something that makes me feel comfortable right now, going to the gym and working out. All right, so we're going to talk about whenever we had our two interactions at the gym. I'm going to say that one of them I don't even count. So the first one was when an old man came up to me and was like, I love your outfit. And it was that old, she thick, thick, or whatever the heck it was. I thought it was funny. So I did leave that in. I left that in because I was like, oh my God, it's an older man saying this, older white man at the gym saying this. I, that, it was funny to me. But no, who was looking for attention? Because look how, like, really? As for the second interaction, that person at Kaylin's game that I was talking to, um, he actually. How do you, I don't even want to say, I've known him since high school. And if you paid attention and actually listen, he was asking me, Oh, are you and Phillips? Are you and Phil still in love or something? Going strong, something like that. Because when I was in high school, he was trying to talk to me, but he was just always a good friend. But I was just like stating the obvious, the truth, the facts. No, I am single. <laughs> when he said that, it's more so saying, like, Oh, y'all are still together, going strong. Wow. No, I was letting it be known and know I'm single. Like, that's been years. I haven't seen him since high school and we graduated together so you know just to clear the air with that i know this person it was not a random person just came up to me i'm um, just started talking to me i actually physically knew them in high school now as for this comment it kind of sat funny with me they were just like you need to do more butt workouts because you have no butt i have a let's get it clear this has a butt i got a little booty it ain't flat it's like a perfect it's perfect for my body i don't want no huge bbl butt like type stuff nothing wrong with that no shame and no okay, news flash jasmine you do not have a butt Okay, your butt is a flatty McGee. It is flat, okay? Just putting it out there. I know you think it's fat, but it's not. It is flat. Moving on. Oh, no shame, no shade to the women that have it, but that's just not me, okay? So I'm happy with how my butt is, okay? And as for the fact that people are saying, like, why are you showing your legs? Why are you showing your lower body more when you have more women that's watching your channel? Look, this is something that I am proud of. You show off what you're proud of. If you feel uncomfortable watching me work out or focus on my butt area doing a butt workout, then obviously get in the gym and stop taking it out on me, okay? But I'm just proud of my body. I'm proud of where I am, and especially given the fact of where I started. I'm proud of my body, so I'm gonna show it off. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't have to just put on sweats all the time because I have more women audience. But you know what's so funny? On Instagram, I have, um, I've gained a lot of, what do you call it, workout audience. 
And I follow a lot of people that work out. If you're working out, especially if you're working out and you're a plus size woman, I don't care race. Some people are like, oh, you only watch black girls. No, I don't care race. I watch white, black, Mexican. I watch anybody. Sometimes they don't, they just don't even be in English and I watch it because I'm like, oh, I just love seeing a woman push herself because they want to be better for themselves. They want to have a better mindset on life. And honestly, when you work out, if I swear to God, y'all, you feel so rejuvenated you feel so healthy you feel so just like weight has been lifted off your shoulders and i also seen something on tiktok sorry not instagram so women and men that go to the gym after a breakup that's like the number one question that people ask why do women and men go to the gym after a breakup and so what i heard on instagram it was i'm saying what they say that working out triggers almost like a happy what do they say? A happy hormone that goes to your mind that's like that gives you the energy to want to get up and just say forget all the negativity. Because honestly, when I'm at home and I don't go work out, and if I work out later, it it can mess up your day. Honestly, working out in the morning, it makes your day go smooth, and I swear you'll be more productive. Like I got energy right now. Now a lot of y'all like, why are you still tired? I just, I just get tired. Okay, that, I can't help that sometimes. I just get tired, but. I got energy now that I've been working out. Like I, I get a lot done. I don't wait till the next day to get those dishes in the sink. I do that at nighttime because I'm like, girl, you can get some steps in here. If you just pick up. I've been going in, I'm cleaning in there. Not in here because it's still clothes on floor. I hate doing laundry. But I just feel like it just, it changes how you feel and it changes everything. I don't be so angry. Now it is, the time of the month is coming. And I noticed that I, I'm starting to notice my body and learning more now that I've kind of been focusing on myself. When the time of the month come, y'all, I mean, this is all women, but you know, now I notice it. I get emotional. Someone said, why are you playing this music? It's sad. You're supposed to be healing because I get emotional. Time of the month is around the corner. It's like a week away. Always the week before I get emotional, I start crying. I start thinking. About okay, Jasmine, Jasmine, you're rambling. You're rambling. Bring it on home, sis. Bring it home. Let's see a clip. You're talking too much. All right. We don't need a lot of videos with you talking for 10 minutes straight. That's not what your audience is here for. We want to see you do stuff. All of this talking, it's not you. I don't know if you just took your B12 shot. I don't know if you're taking um, some Coca-Lena. I don't know what's going on, but the talking has to come to an end or else I'm going to fast forward the video, y'all, because I can't take it no more. Oh, my God. Here you go. There you go. You're welcome. <clears throat> so that's just to clear the air with everything that i just seen in the comments i was going to do a short and explain and answer that stuff but i said girl just answer it in the video so also i want to say something else i forgot to sit down i'm tired so y'all if y'all see me i know a lot of y'all saying like oh we get it jasmine you're working out we get oh it God. we're not gonna sit here it doesn't come off we, we get it you're working out and you're losing weight can I, look can i do it wrong I'm not going to say working out out of my content because this is a part of my everyday life. This is something that I do literally every day, almost every day, five to six times, five to six times out of the week. Okay. And so if I take that out, then y'all going to be like, then it'll be fake. Like I will show y'all some stuff. I'm going to still show y'all what's going on in my everyday life. We're going to tell you, cause I know you're had the brain of a seven year old. We're going to explain this one more time and I'm not explaining it to you again, dummy. Just because you don't show it doesn't mean it's not happening. We know that we're adults. We get it. Why don't you understand? Why don't you comprehend? Kids and stuff. Someone said, go to Disney World. Who has Disney World money right now? I am probably the most realistic mom out here. I'm not sugarcoating anything and act like I'm big balling and stuff. I have a little bit of money here and there, but I'm also working on saving, working on my finances, working on trying to save money so that I can, can do things with my kids. That's not going to happen overnight in real reality. I know you're like your content creator. Not all content creators are big balling. We make just the same amount of money as regular nine to five people. Some of us do. Let's be real. And my rent, $2,350. So I took away my car note. So you have to come to reality with things, y'all. I know a lot of y'all expect me to be this rich, upstanding person, uh, get dressed, put makeup on every day, but that's not me. I don't expect you to be rich. You can't get dressed and put... All right, I don't put makeup on every day, but I'm going to say four out of seven days. Some weeks I do put makeup on every day, not this week. But Jasmine, you don't have any pride in yourself. That's why you don't want to fix yourself up. That's it's a different situation with you. Sorry, y'all. Hold up. I'm not sure, you, but he is. So I'm gonna stop recording. I'll come back to y'all. Okay. Got that AC blowing hard, y'all. It's hot. It's 86 degrees here in Texas. Lady was honking at me. I'm glad that that lady came across because she was like. 
you're not in line. Like, how are you going? You can't. So it's only one lane, whatever is pickup line. And either. You Why do your titties look like that? It looks like you have a bra on. I don't know what that is underneath. It's like a tank top. But why do your titties look like that? Like, why do you choose this angle to show us? You should have lift the camera up, get an angle from up top, okay? So we won't see the, whatever's going on with your boobs. I don't get it. I hope that you don't have a bra on with your boobs looking all saggy like that. Lift the camera up. And then just blur out the background, but you're too lazy to do all that. That would be too much work, right? And why don't, do you have a phone stand in your car or are you just putting us in the cup holder? Everybody stays in that lane, so you're either turning or going straight. So you got to wait your turn to either turn or go straight. And she honking at me and she's like, and she's like, no, look, you stop. And you got to get back in line. Like she tried to pass all of us up. Like, all right, so we're in the line waiting. Like you don't realize how many kids are at this school until you have to pick them up from school. I swear to God. Caroline, tell them to go to the other side. Tell them to go to the other side. He act like this is a real big task, y'all. You don't run on until you have to. Girl, get over it. Yeah. How was school? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, he, he is getting y'all. He's going to jump out. He's still at work. Come on, Ava. Go, go, go clean your room. Your dad will be, he'll be here in a little bit. Okay, guys, now we know why she's so happy The Davis Four are getting out of her life. This makes her so happy. That's why she's so pumped up and so full of energy today, because she can say bye-bye to the Davis Four, the Forgotten Four. All right, so now I get where the energy is coming from. Uh-huh. Come on, Aiden. All right, the kids are home. They're about to clean their room and stuff like that. Their dad is going to come pick them up um, in 30 minutes. So they're about to clean up. Okay. Ooh. They're about to come. What that was. They're about to come. Move, Bentley. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's dark in here because where we are. What is that, Maya? Oh. All right, y'all need to clean up y'all's room. Do you hear me? Yeah. He was always coming home, throwing stuff on the counter. Like, what should you do that? Clean up, get that room together. Like, clean up for real, because that's a whole mess. Why is Aiden's blanket in there? So I'm going to actually go and upload my vlog, because I was exporting it before I left. So I know that it's done. So I'm about to upload it right now while the kids are doing what they need to do. Um, and then, Bentley. Bentley, I'm trying to get him to go outside. And he's in here in my room. Get out of my bathroom, Bentley. Bentley, go outside. No, Bentley. Bentley, go outside. He is like really in here. Bentley is probably hiding because he doesn't want to stay in a cage. And be in cage for the rest of his life. Hashtag free Bentley. Trying to get them situated so that they can go. So I can I cannot think I cannot think right now. Trying to get them situated and get their rooms clean. Figure out what I'll make legend for dinner. Because I have no idea. Side note, y'all didn't tell me that, that toilet got clogged. Kids. Yes, I just noticed it. Cause I, uh cause when because Ava told me this morning. All right, so have to go ahead and finish posting my vlog. I told myself I'm going to try to vlog every day and upload every day. I want to edit this vlog so that um, I at least have a day in between um, that's already pre-recorded -pre and uploaded to YouTube. Sometimes that's just easier for me. It's more convenient. And um, at the end of the day, I cannot take a break. Like, I don't even want to take a break out. Like, I want to just say, you know, what? I'm not going to record today. Taking a break. I can't. It's like almost impossible. And um, especially if I got to maintain, not got to. I well, that's why everybody's telling you to get a job, a part-time job. You can have legend in daycare. Get him used to being around other humans. Um, he will probably be have to be potty trained because you can't afford the one without him being potty trained. Then you can have a little bit of a social life. Just a little bit. I know that scares you because I think you're scared of people. I really do. I think something, unless it's a man up in your face, you don't want any other type of communication. You have no friends. You have no social life. You have no girlfriends. You don't go anywhere. You're not belong to any type of club. You don't do anything with your life. So that's why people are telling you, get a part-time job, but you can still do YouTube full-time, Jazz. That's what they're talking about because the price of living is going up and you're just stuck thinking you a real content creator and you're not. I want to maintain my bills and stuff. Huh? Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Life of a content creator, a mom, oh, everything. Like, this is still a job. Some people are like, that's not a real job. 
it's still a lot of work. Editing, editing is, is time consuming and then uploading and sending it, you know, not sending it, well, sending some stuff to like companies and then they're like, oh, can you do extra? It's a lot. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right. Love you. Here, Tablet. I don't know. Oh, that's All right, legend. I, I am. I am good. Hold on. Hey, Ava, here. Make sure you have your water bottle. Hey, get your water bottle. I got my water bottle. Here you go. Get your water bottle. All right, I'm going to get you some water. Hi y'all. Amaya. These are your school clothes. And this is your extra pair of clothes, okay? Oh wait, hold on, do it backwards. <laughs> this is school clothes. This is extra pair of clothes. Alright, there you go. Get your water bottle. Amaya, do you have your school clothes? Your extra clothes? Legend, come on. You know, he is upset. He's not happy. Daddy. I'm trying to get your toddler to understand certain things is so hard sometimes, but I had to get him get the kids some extra clothes. Um, because they have it's like a run color color run, I think that's what it's called. Um, I had to do that so I'll give them extra clothes, and I didn't realize until last minute he <laughs> needed extra clothes. I'll check my email. Legend is not happy, you guys. Like, what time is this? 4 25. I'm about to change his pull up. I need to get my grass cut, then you can go outside and play more. He is so upset, y'all. I'm trying to make sure to just I'm trying to get him to understand. It's so hard to teach a toddler to understand certain things. He don't really get it. Um, he'll get it eventually. He's still young, so he'll figure it out. He just don't get it. He just like they're going. All that he hears is the other one saying, "I'm going with dad," and he's like, "I want to go with my daddy. Where's mine? Why aren't I leaving?" But he'll figure it out. Um, and He's a toddler, so you know, toddler. Yeah, his daddy is not the same daddy as they have, Jasmine. Look, the girls tried to tell you, Chrissy and Ming tried to tell you that it wasn't a good idea to have a baby by a man that did not want the baby. But you had to go and do it anyway, didn't you? Because you're hard headed, sis. Okay, you're hard headed. All right, so don't get mad now. Don't get mad now. Mm -mm. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. Okay. It just takes a while for them to understand certain things like that. Their daddy. So just wait, Babush. Where's he at? Where's he at? I don't know where he is. Oh, he's in their room. Come on, change your baby. You upset? Come here. All right, so I just got off a live. I was talking to you guys for a little bit, um, just kind of venting, and it's been a while since yeah. I went live, but about to go to, I wasn't gonna, you know, go out and get nothing, but it's just more cheaper. And I mean, it's just more easier. So I'm gonna go and get me a Southwest salad from, what is it called, Chick-fil-A? It just sounds good right now. And yeah, Ooh. about to go get some right now. All right, I got my salad. It's bomb. He's eating his food. And then, I don't know, it's going right to bed. It's really just giving me a hard time today. So, I'm going to right to bed. I got me some water. I wish I had a lemon. I used it already the other day. But I'm about to have my salad eating kind of late, but it's okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, thumbs up for your girl and subscribe if you are new. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Uh, we're going to move on. We're going to go peep over at the house of Jasmine. She's put up some shorts talking about homeless life in NYC. So we're going to go over there and take a look. So bear with me for just a second, guys. I'm going to pull this up here. All right, so for those of you who do not know, House of Jasmine is my Jazzy Life ex-mod. She got into a little back and forth with. A House of Jasmine is a little on the slow side, too. Not as nowhere near as slow as Jasmine wine trash. But she has a little trouble sometimes. So let's get into it. And um, 
I just know when I went to YouTube to find out, you know, what it was like dating a narcissist. <laughs> I just know when I went to YouTube to find out, you know, what it was like dating a narcissist. And I didn't really see many videos. A lot of videos just gave me advice on how to recognize a narcissist. And it is, and I didn't really see many videos. A lot of videos just gave me advice on how to recognize a narcissist and the different things that they do. I just know when I went to YouTube to find out, you know, what it was like dating a narcissist. <laughs> and um, I just know when I went to YouTube to find out, you know, what it was like dating a narcissist. And I didn't really see many videos. A lot of videos just gave me advice on how to recognize a narcissist. And it is, and I didn't really see many videos. A lot of videos just gave me advice on how to recognize a narcissist and the different things that they do. Okay, guys, so House of Jasmine just recently put up a um, video where she was decorating the kids' Easter baskets. It was pretty cute. You guys can go over to the Jasmine family if you want to go ahead and watch it. But we're not going to get into that. You're just going to get into some shorts that she put up. So let's start with this one. Hey, look. This is Jasmine of the Jasmine family. And I just wanted to remind you all to check us out. <laughs> Hey, love, this is Jazz of the Jazz family, and I just wanted to remind you all to check us out over on YouTube as well as Instagram as the Jasmine family. I am a 30-something-year-old mama, and I have three kiddos, and I am going to be taking you all on a journey with me as I navigate moving from Middle Tennessee all the way to New York City. So you're going to see a room tour after this video. And then I'm probably going to come back looking like this so that I can catch you guys up on a few days that I haven't been vlogging. I've just been in a funk. But I would love it if you all check out my hopeful to homeless video so you can get insight of how do we get to this point. Thank you. Hey, loves. It's Jazz of the Jazz and family. Hey, loves. So here's a overview of what our room looks like over at the hotel where my kids and I reside. Um... This is a family transitional hotel shelter. So here's what the bathroom looked like. The sink, toilet. All right, so guys, Jasmine is homeless yet again. For some weird reason, she moved to New York City where they where someone told me in the comments, I can't remember which one of you guys told me. If you're in here, go ahead and um, say it was me. But they don't even have emergency housing in New York. I guess they don't have enough housing in New York because, you know, it's like ants over there. It's like, you know, it's just so many people. So, you know, what was the point of moving there? She says her sister told her that it was a lot of resources in New York for homeless people. But I just don't understand. Why would the sister invite her there with her three children, knowing that she's homeless every couple of years and that she doesn't have good sense? Jasmine, how many times are you going to put yourself through this? This better be the last time because somebody's going to end up reporting you to CPS, sis, and you're going to lose those kids. I don't think Jasmine is necessarily a bad mom. Jasmine makes bad decisions over and over again. Jasmine lacks maturity. Jasmine lacks stick to itiveness. And Jasmine, don't come over here with the BS. Don't go live. Don't put up a short telling reactors what to say because Jasmine does not have the thick skin that it takes to be on YouTube. She doesn't like it when people talk about her, yet she comes out here and exposes herself all the time, telling us all her business. So let's get back to it. The shower and the tub, um, and we keep our hygiene things in there. My daughter drew on the wall, so never mind the marks of the wall, but when you come out of the bathroom... Another thing, Jasmine, if you're homeless and you're broke and you're depressed because you posted something on your community wall saying you were going through or having a hard time. Yeah, you're a mom of three kids who's homeless in a strange city. The last thing you should have done 
And another thing, you've been caught in a couple of lies, and we're going to get into that too. You've been caught in a several lies where you backtrack. So you better get it together over there and figure out how you're going to make your way out of that because you've said some things that are not adding up. I'm going to let this video play though, but what I'm saying is, of course you're depressed. You're in a new city where you know nobody, you have nobody except for your sister. Why the hell would she invite you there if you can't stay there with her? It makes no sense. You'll see a little bit of the hallway and then here's a um, full length closet where we keep our coats, toys, and our, um, like I keep my, my purse and everything. Um, here is the rest of the room. It comes with two. You would think you would be putting up more content. You should be putting out a video every day, Jasmine, if you're not, if you don't have a job yet. What else could you possibly be doing? Queen size beds, a lamp, nightstand, a dresser, a set, a large TV, cable, Wi-Fi, um, no phone or anything, and a heater. Hey, love, so here's a overview right, guys, of moving on to the next one hey fam and welcome back tonight we are getting ready for dinner and this is what they had at the hotel shelter fish carrots and potatoes which none of us really wanted not to be picky or anything but it is so hard some days to make things manage my daughter could not wait to get the lunchable open as you all can see it just reminded me of baby shark do 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 when she does that but anywho uh the boys are there i know you guys have been missing the boys um uh, finally got a chance to get them on camera out of school um uh, but i decided to get my daughter some chicken nuggets and fries because i know she is not going to be able to solely survive off a dollar lunchable okay and that would just be wrong to just feed her that for dinner um i was looking down the chip out initially but i decided to go ahead and just grab us a soda just to put a little flavor on our tongues and we decided to head back to the hotel shelter where the kids began to warm up their food and then we started to eat nonetheless we made everything work tonight hey fam and welcome back tonight we are so yeah that's jasmine and her three kids in a homeless shelter i know that 13 year old is about sick of your ass Mom, how many times are we going to move? Mom, where's my dad? Mom, why is my dad not helping you? Jasmine has three baby daddies, and not one of them have come to help her yet. Matter of fact, let me change this screen, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Jasmine has three baby daddies out here. Not one of them are helping her with her kids. How do you end up homeless with three baby daddies? I don't understand it. Are all of them trash? And before I go really quickly, um, one thing I want to leave with you all is to be patient with yourself and that you can start over at any time in your life if you need to. Um, there are times when I've had to start over when I needed to, but there are times when I had to start over when I didn't want to. And, you know, certain things, um, it's just, it's life, you know, so... You know what they say, when life gives you limits, you make lemonade. So that's what I'm trying to do. But again, I hope that you all continue to follow this journey. Um, the boys are playing their video game right now. And my daughter, she is back here asleep. That's my daughter, Zara. And that is Julian, my oldest, in the orange shirt. And Mark is my middle child. We call him Trey. So yes, continue to follow the journey. I hope to have some apartment tours up soon. I thank you guys for being patient with me. And see you soon. And before I go really quickly, um, one thing I want to leave with you all is to be so like I was saying. Oh, love, and another um, thing, Jasmine, leave the shorts up this time. That's why your channel never progressive. You're, you should have way more subscribers than you do. But you stop doing content. OK, now my thing is I have a job, so I have a way to take care of myself. If I stop doing content today or tomorrow, that's actually a choice. For you, you could be making like a career out of YouTube, but you're not taking advantage of your opportunities because you don't stick with anything. You don't stick with the men that you choose to get pregnant by. You don't stick with the city you live in. You don't stick with the job. You don't stick with YouTube. There's a pattern forming here. Let me let the girl talk. Looking at um, Yeah, you took down that homeless shelter. Sorry, y'all. I had, I had to say this. You took down that homeless shelter tour video because you didn't want to get dragged. It's your reality. Live it. Get the views off of it. 
how did Allison Alana come on here? She had been on here for a couple years, but nobody knew who she was. Come on here. And at least that she, at least knowing she doesn't want to work anywhere because she's lazy as hell, at least she is putting something into her YouTube channel. I'll give her that much. She's staying consistent. Now, she slacked up since she got her taxes, but all the mommies did, except for Jazz and Liv, because Liv didn't really get that many taxes. I think Liv let Stella get her taxes, and then she took a portion, so she got a little small portion. But, yeah, stick to putting your content up and stop playing around. You're not putting any content up, Jasmine. If you don't have a job, let this be your job. Boys, this is our show. We love to watch people cook. And we love to eat. <laughs> but yes, um, being out of Memphis, Tennessee and being in New York City now, I will say it's one of the most liberating, exciting feelings. Because it's like I haven't even had a chance to really just enjoy New York. Um, I have did a few apartment tours and um, I can't wait to share those tours with you guys. But that's been pretty exciting. And we have went to Manhattan and we have went to enjoy certain food and see, you know, that it's very cultural out here, different cultures. So that's what I really love about New York. But I've just been in a funk of forgiving myself and letting go of the things that I've been through. And so um, I know that it'll get better with time. So like I was saying, love. Okay, um, anyway. Hey fam, I'm back. So um, I just uploaded a few videos um, that had been sitting in my phone because I didn't really want to upload my life homeless. I feel like I've been there, done that, and starting over in your 30s is so hard. Um, when I talked to you all in the homeless video, the hopeless to homeless video, um, I was very raw, transparent, very authentic. Y'all got all up in my business because y'all know I love to share. But being at this hotel has been a lot to kind of take in. Um, I'm happy and don't get me wrong, I won't take any of this for granted, but I just been feeling like I can't wait for it to get better to where I never have to go do anything like this ever again. Yeah, because you could have you should have kept your job. We're gonna get into your lies in a second. You should have kept your job, kept your place, and kept it moving. You were pissed because there were blunt guts outside. You were pissed because it was niggas hanging outside of your apartment, but once again. It's because you don't put anything into what you do. You half-ass do everything. You got to stick with it, Jasmine, or you can never see what the outcome is. You can't give it two or three years. Sometimes it might take five or six years to get where you need to be. But you're not sticking with anything long enough to find out. And in life, I want better for myself so that my kids, of course, will be okay because whatever I go through, they're going to go through Hey fam, I'm back. Hey love, so I wanted so to this is an apartment tour, guys. So let's take a look. To share with you all what I've been up to. Although I haven't been posting any main videos, I've been touring apartments and staying hopeful about getting me and my kids out of this family shelter hotel, which I'll have more information about. Um, but here is the living room of Fire Escape. Um, I believe this is a living room, if I'm not mistaken. It was really weird how this apartment was laid out, or that was pos possibly the master bedroom. I'm sorry. The kitchen wasn't all the way put together. Um, they were still renovating this particular apartment. Here's the bathroom. It is rather small, but for it to be New York City, that's to be expected. The closets were nice and tall. Not much space in the closets, but they were nice and tall. Here is the second bedroom, very spacious as well. Y'all let me know what you think about this particular unit. And I'm so excited to look for a home. Hey, love. So I wanted to share with you all. Okay, that's it for Jasmine, y'all. That's it for her. But I just want to show this quick clip that I did and see what you guys think about it. Because it's a couple lies up in here. Go back to my very first video. I think it was called, my channel was Zara's Mommy or something like that. But then I switched it to House of Jasmine because it just covered everything that i was trying to display just like i had to make some things clear being my jazz is like moderator number one i don't do disrespect i will block you so even when it comes to my, even when it comes to my youtube channel it ain't about me 
It ain't about you. It's about God. Anything that I post is in alignment with God. It's gonna land on my social media accounts. It's not gonna land on my YouTube channel. I'm not on here itching and trying to be something that I'm not and hustle up on subscribers, trying to get monetized so bad, kissing ass. Trying to get monetized so bad, kissing ass. Trying to get monetized so bad, kissing ass. The boy's dad is active in their life, and so, you know, oh God, it's going to be a lot to bring him the news like hey you know we expecting a third baby so but i wanted more than anything to really be a wife i didn't want to have relations i didn't want to have a a body count of three a body count of three a body count of three okay so if you don't understand why i put that clip in there it's to show that she started off telling lies. The boy's dad. The boy's dad. All right. There goes the lie right there. Jasmine, you have three baby daddies, sis. Not one, not two, but three. So when you got pregnant with your last baby, you came on here. That was her doing a live pregnancy test with her daughter that is what? Two, I think, two or three. Zara. When you got pregnant with Zara, you were on baby daddy number three. So how is it the boy's dad? How? Just please. And if your mother, Jasmine also said that her mother is a pharmacist. How is your mother a pharmacist? In Tennessee, I looked that up. Now, if you're, I don't know if your mother's living in Tennessee, but I think she is. If your mother is a pharmacist and she's over there making six figures while her daughter is out here homeless, what the kind of mother is that? What mother making six figures doesn't send her daughter a couple thousand dollars to get her and her grandkids together? You said your mother was a pharmacist. Okay. What's going on here? What kind of mother that makes six figures allow their child to keep being homeless? Homeless in Texas. Now you're homeless in NYC. Make it make sense, Jasmine, to stop coming on here lying. Okay, guys, now we're going to get to... We're going to do another My Jazzy Life video. All right? But before we do that, I just want to touch on um, a little short because... Let's go and see, you know, Jazz was talking about that, um, Jazz had mentioned that uh, Phil, I mean, that, wait a minute, let me go back in here because I should have pulled up those comments, guys. That's what I really meant to do because Jazz said that Hips was in Legend's life. So hold on, guys. Just bear with me. We're going to get into it. Give me one second. Let me just pull this up, okay? One second, guys. What's going on here? Here we go. He ain't gonna come here now. Nigga scared. Apart for child support, I already told him I'm gonna bleed him dry. Apart for child support, I already told him I'm gonna bleed him dry. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> the night that I went live. And it was muted. People kept calling police to my house. <laughs> they thought that I was getting beat up. No. He was starting to call the police to me. I was trying to get me locked up. Because I was just like, nigga, I, I did hit him. I'm not going to lie. I was like, nigga, you like you not shit. Like, you just breaking my heart. Like, mixed signals. It's so, bro, it's so much, bro. Like I said, December. So, bitch, if you're watching, the nigga lied to you. Nigga, we ain't been broken up for months. Nigga, we've been arguing for months since my birthday because I finally spoke up. I wanted some more. I wanted more. I felt like, damn, bitch, you do a lot. You deserve more. You deserve to be treated like a queen. Who gives a fuck? This nigga knew what I did the day that he met me. You knew I was a content creator. Told him this. You know, he said some things to make it seem like he was gonna do what he can do to try and hurt me. What you gonna say? You gonna show messages and say that I was fucking a mental breakdown because you've been treating me? 
for the past couple of months and I'm stressing because I know that I need to be working, say it. Do you want to hurt me with CPS? You want to hurt me with CPS? You didn't threaten me to give me the shut the fuck up so many times. <sighs> Cause I'm dumb, cause I love this nigga more than I love myself. You slow as fuck, you slow as fuck, you slow as fuck. Ball headed bitches with no edges. You coming at me, you can't hear it. Okay guys, let's get into this comment real quick. Let me get her off the screen here. So that we can see. All right. All right, y'all. So underneath one of Jazz's videos, we got Goth Angel. Goth Angel says, if he's so present, how come you never get a break from dairy? Show a, show a video of you actually getting a day to yourself. Every mom needs that. He isn't present. Otherwise, you, would have, you, would have, you wouldn't have to take him to daycare. He could watch him sometime. Quit lying. It's funny how you lie still to defend a boy who literally left you and the kids with nothing. Nope, couldn't be me. I tell if I'm doing it by myself. He gets no recognition. So Jazz responds. Jazz says, okay, again. Hold on, let me see something. All right, yeah. Okay, again, I don't have to lie or tell anything. And yes, legend is with me most of the time. How can anyone lie about that when y'all see him in my vlogs, love? Jazz, you said, hold on, let me see. You said it's hard to explain to Stinkabug about Chris is not his dad. So where the fuck is he? All right, hold on. Let me see. It was one more in here. I'm not sure if she deleted it. Let me see. Hold on. I think she might have deleted it, guys, because I can't find it. You can buy takeout just because you don't. They still don't understand. You will upload the content. The upload. All right. I can't find it. I think she deleted it, guys, because I feel like it was up at the top. And now I don't see it anymore. So we're going to move on. All right. Hold on, y'all. All right. We're going to move on from that, and we're going to go to another video. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. All right, drama had me up till 4 a.m. We're going to go into that, so hold on. Give me one second, y'all. Let me just pull it up. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I don't know why that took so long. All right, y'all. We're going to get into it in a second. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's weak. I know that's, weak. that's why I take my time, that's why I take my time. Before, I make my mind before I make my mind up. up. And I do this like seven, seven days, days out of the week. I and I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes, to earn my stripes. so I don't have to work no nine, so to work five. nine to five. Yeah. We be taking everything for granted, no lie. Cause I remember days that we could barely get by. Oh, yeah. Used to use the neck. Maybe you only want you can Never seem to be satisfied Till it all goes bad Maybe 
Maybe I should just give someone else a chance Why should I sit alone and be sad While you fumble the best you ever had It's not fair to me or my heart I was forced to start over when we fell apart Could have had it all, but you pushed me right into Good morning, Tinkerbell. You sleep good? Oh, come on. Let's go put your clothes on. Come on. Come on, baby. Could have had it all, but you pushed me right into his arms. You wanted to breathe. I wanted to stay. Look what you made my love away you made a mistake say that you changed did you wash his ass before you put them clothes on her my love away What's up with this sad ass music, y'all? She really want this nigga back. She still want this nigga back. You ain't telling me nothing. Just give someone else a chance. Christy. Mm, why should I sit here waiting on you? I'm sorry, but he is the angriest, most unhappy baby I've ever seen in my life. And he's going to have rotten teeth if that's how you let him brush your teeth. So you just sit up there and, and brush his hair while he's supposed to be brushing his teeth. He brushed his teeth for 10 seconds, Jazz. Look what you made me give my love away. Hey, you made a mistake. Say that she's gonna make these kids hard. Um, she's gonna make these kids content no matter what. He's not good content, Jazz. I'm gonna just put it like this: cuter. Cute babies are good content, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, if you don't like people talking about kids, this might not be the channel for you. I talk about kids when I deem necessary because it's my channel and I do what I want to. Now, deal with it. Don't worry, guys, we're gonna get through this real fast because she's not gonna keep torturing us with this bullshit. Uh huh. It's on 175. Why is it still going so slow? We need to speed this up. Come on, Jazz. Come on. We don't want to see you working out no more. We told you about that. But you just going to show us every minute of it, ain't you? Okay. All right. Let me see. Yeah. 
so I just went into HEB and I told myself to record and I did not record. Y'all, I was just like, I need to get in and out because I didn't want to be in there too long. And then I got like, I'm making the kids tacos tonight. So I got stuff for their tacos. I got me um, like a carb control TV dinner. I I'll show you everything that I got, but I also was looking at like, because um, Neutrogena has, uh, you know, pimple patches too. I I'll show y'all what I got. And I told y'all that my I need some body wash. So I'll just show y'all. I mean, I didn't get a lot, but you know, I guess I can do like a mini haul when I get to the house. Little essentials and stuff like that. Um, we're on our way to the house right now. I'm so glad that I took the time to clean up yesterday because it's not like I have to clean up big time today. Um, I got to do laundry and then I have to, you know, of course, pick up a little bit. Um, mop, well, not mop, Swiffer. So I, need, I need more Swiffer pads. So head to the house. All right, you guys. So we're at home. So I got this beef and broccoli, no added sugar. And it's a low carb a lifestyle, healthy choice brand. I also got this one, tomato basil chip. Wine glass, are you taking notes so you can buy the exact same um, dinners that Jazz buys since you're so obsessed with her? Take notes, wine glass. Write it down. Do a screenshot so you can do the exact same content because you're looking weird out here in these streets. Um, need some more dish soap. Got them some more um, toothpaste. And this one is supposed to just remove stains, whiten teeth within three days. Hopefully it's good. I've never tried this one before, but I've always tried Crest, but I just... How are you going to have one ass tube of toothpaste for four kids? How and why? 4% hydrogen peroxide. I also got, like I said, um, the Stubborn Acne Ultra Thin Blemishes Patch. I also got the body wash, and I got some... Um, what is this called, y'all? The one uh, on the spot acne treatment, so... It's just a quick little haul of everything that I got. All right, so I am about to um, take a quick shower and then come and let him so much. Right now, he's content watching Elmo. So that's why that gives me a chance to hop in the shower and get clean. Um, that way, I can use my body wash and stuff like that. But um, yeah, he's in there watching Elmo. And I'm not going to bother him, okay? So let me go ahead and take a shower. Maybe you only Believe it or not, we don't give a damn. We don't want to keep saying legend either in every video. We don't want to see you work out in every video, and we don't want to keep seeing Legend in every video. And why are you still sitting him in a high chair? Isn't he three years old? He's in a pamper and a high chair. You do the math, Jazz. Naked, because you say he mess up his clothes too much. Why Get should you. I sit alone? Where's the growth? You got five kids, and you still holding these kids back on purpose? And then you get mad when people drag you and your kids. All right. Let's make it make sense, y'all. Forced to start over when we fell apart. Could have had it all, but you pushed me right into his arms. You wanted to break. I wanted to stay. Look what you made. So I just finished doing laundry and cooking dinner. So it is 3.45. The kids are doing their chores right now. I am about to go and edit my blog. I need to get it done. I have to upload a video today. I hate whenever I don't upload, but I'm done with laundry. I was trying to put a do-rag on Legend, and he was not letting me, but it is what it is. But, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I'm tired, but I'm pushing. Your girl's pushing. It's just, I feel like I'm just going through it. Maybe it's, I feel like the time of the month is creeping around. That's what it is. She's creeping. Yeah. So I'm over here watching E-Kane. Did y'all okay. see everything that was going on with E-Kane and Dre and K? Bad, Had me over here in the middle of the night watching them. Now I see why a lot of people like drama. They be watching and they like, oh, I want to see what's going to happen next and stuff like that. Now I see because I was tuned the F in. Okay. Oh, now you see you are the drama. See, she playing dumb. See how she like to play and play dumb? She playing dumb right now, y'all. Facebook and Instagram, but I do hope they keep TikTok. But you guys, um, I have to go ahead and start editing. Like I said, I already cooked dinner. My kids are doing their chores. Did um, I? Well, I didn't do laundry. I did it the other day, but I folded it today. So I went ahead and folded their, the kids' laundry, the girls' laundry. Um, I need to fold Kaylin's. I know you're probably gonna say, "Girl, why are you still folding her clothes?" Because I am a neat. Jazz, we don't need a rundown on your laundry. We don't need a rundown on this boring ass topic that you love to hate. Laundry. We're all doing laundry, sis. This is not anything informative. There is nothing influencing about this fact. People do laundry. Get the fuck over and move on. We are sick of it. Freak when it comes to clothes. Do y'all hear me saying that? Look at my clothes. Yeah, my clean clothes are sitting on the floor. But that's neither here or there. But when it comes to my kids, I like their clothes put up nice and neat. So that's why. Yes, that's why you out here with meth face now. Why do you have clean clothes sitting on a nasty ass floor? I don't know if you guys take your shoes off, but I don't think so. You walk around with them dirty ass socks, dusty feet dukes. You walk around with them dirty ass socks. 
Why is clean laundry on the floor? You could at least put it on your bed. At least, sis. I, I put Kaylin. That's why. So that's why I fold my daughter's clothes. Um, comment down below. Do you still fold your older kids' clothes? Do you still see now putting them up is her? It, 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 it's her. All right, you know? so now, I don't know if y'all know this, but this is the same thing that wine glass likes to do. Comment below. Come on, let's get this chat going, guys. This is where she's getting it from. Jazz, you better watch your BFF. She's taking all your content and trying to pull it over to her channel and making her channel less and less interesting. Wine glass, just a little tip. It was better when you were being wine glass instead of turning into jazz. Now you're boring, predictable, and snoozy. Okay, let's continue. I'll put them up, then we have a problem. So um, that's my thing. Put your clothes up, child. Me give my love away. You made a mistake. Say that you changed, but it's too late. I gave my love away. 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 Guys, it's the life of a content creator, guys. Oh, it's so struggly, so hard. In a victim now. All right, my video is premiering. I just finished editing it. I'm about to go ahead and make a kid's plate. They just came in and were like, oh, I'm ready to eat. And I'm like, it's oh, right on time. It's five o'clock right now. So about to go ahead and start on the dinner. Well, make a plate. Y'all know what I mean. She loves putting these hangy ass titties in our face. Look at these titties. Girl, we don't need to... Why you got titties in that plate, Jazz? Come on, sis. Be better. Honey, you could not guess how you put those words back. Now I'm just a mess. I'm running away from escaping. See, she's using a big tortilla shell. She needs to use the big soft shells. You need to use the small ones, Jazz, because they don't want all that shell on their food. All right? I think she's giving them too much, honestly. We've never seen this before, but I feel like she's giving them too much. Cut those shells in half. What do they need two big, long-ass shells like that for? I'm about to go ahead and clean up the kitchen and then make myself my food, um, which is that TV dinner I got earlier. But the kitchen has to be cleaned up. Then I'll be done here. All right, guys. So I just realized I did not end the vlog, so I'm going to come end it. Um, we didn't do nothing else. I cleaned up, had my food, and I just got in bed because I was like, I need to get my full eight hours of sleep. But um, I did try the pimple patches, and um, they did work. They're working. I'm still going to keep using them. This boy's sleeping. I'm trying to hurt you to say that. But I wait till you don't have meth face and then say they're working. For you to still have a face that looks like it's some type of disease or something on there, just wait. Just wait until they work first. Then tell us about how they work. Don't tell us why you're in the process and you look a mess. Thank you. If y'all enjoyed the vlog, if you did, thumbs up and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Make sure y'all share the video as well for support. I love you guys. Okay, guys. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. We went through the jazzes. We went through My Jazzy Life and House of Jasmine. I hope you enjoyed it here today. If you have not hit the thumbs up, please do so on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next reaction. Bye.